Hey everyone, this is John here. Welcome back to the channel. Now, recently I've been demonstrating how to model various objects in Blender, and while I will still be doing that going forward, I wanted to start a new series where we look at various examples of less than ideal topology and discuss different ways it could be improved. And these will be less about the tools and more about topology. So I'm using Blender here, but it shouldn't matter what 3D app you're using. Okay, so let's look at this first example. You can already see as I move around this, there's some real problems, some horrible lumps and bumps in this. We'll look at the wireframe. I'm just going to turn off MatCap and just come out of subdivision. There's a lot of triangles in here and definitely some unnecessary topology. So let's approach this in two different ways. First of all, we'll do our best to clean up what we have. There are situations when you're modeling where you can't just go ahead and delete a whole bunch of stuff. You just have to work with what you have. And in the second example, we'll remove the problem area and we'll rebuild it. Now I'm only going to do one side. I'm just going to grab the poly quilt add-on here in Blender just to quickly merge some of these together, some of these verts. I'm just going to clean this up, removing things that are unnecessary, unnecessary edges. that one and that one and obviously I can't run edges along this way because that's going to mess up the curvature but it's fairly flexible this direction so that one and that one and I'll just select these and just merge those together just in the middle. Okay. It is sticking up a little bit there, but I'm just going to ignore that for now. So I could run loops all the way around. A little bit complicated given there's a whole bunch of ingons in here. So I'm just going to run edges just down like this. I'm not going to take it all the way through, but this will give you an idea about how you'd approach this. Okay, so we've got all quads. Grab this one and this one. Bring that down. Just loosening this up a little bit, evening out the tension. That one down and down a bit. Okay, so let's go into subdivision again. And you can see the difference. Look at that. So by removing those triangles, just running those loops straight down, keeping it as quads, we've actually fixed the problem. I'm not going to do this side. What about the top here? Now, rather than cutting things here, I'm just going to go into face mode or polygon mode, depending on the software you use. Just select that. Just do a little inner extrude there and delete those faces. And in Blender here, I'm just going to use grid fill. Just fill that up. So that just adds all quads. Add another loop in here. Might be good just to actually just take a cut through there, cut through there, and just get rid of these ones. A little bit tight. Like that. So we're still all quads, and that's a lot better. And scale this up. Making sure I'm scaling from the medium point. 
There you go, much better. Obviously, that side's still a problem. Let's take a look at it with something a little more shiny. And that's more than acceptable. So that's a way of keeping the existing geometry and then just using better topology. Let's now take a look at a situation where you can just delete the problem and rebuild. So just selecting all of the polygons that are making up that problem area and just deleting those. I'm also going to just get rid of these extra loops I put in. All right. So that's now a nice clean base. So I'm going to use in Blender here Machine Tools Smart Face just by pressing the 4 key. This makes it a little more automated. I quickly just hit 4 and rebuild that. All right. So we're back to nice clean original geometry. We're not perfectly straight there. Okay, so next what I want to do is just slide a few verts out. Make some space for the circle I'm going to put in. Do that by insetting. I probably just want to quickly just get that one out there and that one out there. Inset. Now here in Blender, I'm going to use Loop Tools Circle. It's a little large, so what I'll choose for method is Fit Inside. And also, notice how that's flattened that out. I'm going to uncheck Flatten, like that. Okay, so now I need to extrude this, so E. And I'm just going to move that up on the Normal. About there, S to scale, Z and zero to flatten that out. I want to add some loop cuts in here. I'm just going to add one, and I'm going to scale that. You can see it's not straight. I'm just going to scale that on the Y to zero, like that. Now, Control B to bevel and just bevel that out. Extrude along normals. It's good. Just select that one and come down to select loops and select boundary loop. Scale that in. Scale that out. I could bevel that if I wanted to add a few more loops, but I'm going to leave it as is for now. Just select that again. And this one, this one, this one, and this one, and that one. Quick bevel. Just add an edge there. Come down and just loosen this up. Maybe here as well. So I might just add a little bevel there. Just select that loop. I'm going to use set flow. It's a plugin you can download for free. There we go. That's good. All right, so let's take a look at this. So all those problem areas have gone. And everything's looking really nice. So two possible solutions. One was to use the existing geometry and just clean it up. I prefer this option though. There's less geometry and less geometry often means less issues. Okay, so hopefully that's been helpful.
If you have an example you'd like me to take a look at, please join us on the 3D Modeling Discord. You'll see a link in the description. And use the Ask for Help Modeling channel. And hopefully I'll be able to use your example in one of these sessions. For now, have fun modeling, and I'll see you again soon.